welcome back to Easy Off Grid. It is Tuesday, September 15th, just after 9 a.m. Uh, yeah, it's been a beautiful morning. There's very little wind at all, very calm. It's about 75 degrees. Um, it's just, it's been nice. Been out drinking coffee inside here and, uh, Watching rabbits run back and forth back here. So, pretty chill. All right, so I know today, or today, yesterday, I had made the comment that I was just going to come up here and not work too hard and get just a couple of, try to, try to work on this, raising this up a little bit, but I wasn't going to really, really bust my butt. Well, that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> I guess I kind of overdid it yesterday with the, all the ups and downs in the back and the forth all day long. And on top of that, when I was all finished and my legs were jello and my back was killing me, I started taking good old Sadie there for a little walk down the driveway. And I started hearing what I thought were voices. And no, it was not all in my head. And, uh, Anyways, it sounded like they were just at the side of my property over here. So I figured, ah, we'll walk a little farther to see if we see somebody, say hi. And the further and further I walked, <laughs> the louder the sound got, but I didn't seem to be getting any closer. And I ended up walking about a mile out. And then I, I think I located the source. It was somebody's radio, really, really loud. And there's a property about a mile away where I think it was coming from. Um, so, yeah, I ended up walking a bit further than I wanted to. So then I had to walk a mile back. Anyways, um, needless to say, today my body is, uh, is letting me know that I was uh, stupid yesterday and worked a little too hard. And... Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, I don't feel so good this morning physically, but I'm going to continue on with what I have to do today. Um, the plan today is to just fine-tune the leveling on this. The back is level, the front, I got to, I got to bring this corner up a little bit and I got to bring that corner up. I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so. So I want to get it level before I start putting the piers in just so I have a, a good baseline to start with. So um, it's a little unstable the way it is right now with those uh, blocks, four by four blocks underneath there. I was up in there sitting at the doorway last night and I... I don't know, I kind of shuffled my body a little bit and the whole cabin started rocking. So I was, I was like, okay, uh, let's not do that. And I was hoping there wouldn't be any strong winds. And luckily there wasn't. So I need to get this thing stabilized enough that I don't have to worry about it until I come back up here. I'm not going to get them all done again, like I said, but uh, I'd, I'd like to do at least all of the exterior blocks here. Um, so these three in the front and then on each side. Okay, to make it easy, four on this side, four on the outside, other side, and then one in the front, one in the back. I'd like to at least get those in place just to really stabilize this. And I'm gonna to have to re-level the bottom block because uh, after putting all the weight on them, they kinda, of, the bottom block kinda of sank over here a little bit. And I think this one needs to be leveled out a little bit, yeah. But the back, I think, I haven't looked at them yet. Yeah, that one needs to be leveled out a little bit better too. It sank a little bit on the front corner there. 
And these look pretty good. This one looks all right. So, I know these are gonna, these are gonna sink over time. Um, so for instance, right here, that's been sitting there for five years. And this is basically what happened with all of them, but there's actually two pavers here. Um, yo. The other one, as you can see, was was uh, pushed into the ground over time, and they're they're all like that, pretty much. So, except for yeah, yeah, pretty much all of them are like that. So, um, you know, the ground gets wet after a really really heavy rain, and then just the weight of the cabin kind of settles the blocks into the dirt. Now, those have a much larger footprint, so I don't expect them to sink as far. And eventually I'm gonna get some skirting put on this and then uh, do something to shed the water away from the skirting so the ground stays relatively dry underneath here. But in the time being, I know there's gonna be some movement, some settling, and that's why I got those piers like I did because with them, Especially now that the cabin's up off the ground, I can actually get under there and work on stuff. Um, with the piers that I got, um, I can easily adjust the height on each of them now. Uh, just take new measurements and uh, make a larger post for each of the piers as they, as they begin to settle to keep this thing level. It'll be much easier. It's much more manageable now with this thing off the ground. So... That was another benefit of doing this. Just uh, easier to keep this thing level and maintain it. So anyways, I'm gonna get some batteries charging right now. Um, Cause I'm gonna be cutting all these these four by four posts, I think with uh, just my little hand, my little uh, Ryobi handsaw here. So, cause I didn't bring up any gas for the generator. I'm sure there's probably got some gas left in it, but I don't feel like pulling the uh, chop saw out. And I don't, I don't like to, uh, I could run it off my, my power here, but I'm, I'm not going to. I don't think it's necessary right now. So I'm gonna get some batteries charging. I am not gonna take my dog for a walk this morning. Um, and then I'm gonna, Start leveling this thing out completely, just fine tuning it. Probably only take me a couple of minutes to do it. And then uh, I'm gonna start setting the piers. So, all right guys, uh, I'll get back with you guys here in a little bit when I've made some progress. Oh, excuse me. When I've made some progress and uh, we'll see what I get done today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without further ado, here it is the unfinished project <laughs> all right guys uh it's uh it's about 3 p.m 85 degrees i think that's going to be the high today get a little breeze here and there not too big all right so this is what i got done uh i ended up having to raise this front side a little bit more uh, more than a half or half inch, three quarters of an inch. I had to go up like an inch and a half, I think. But this is what we have. Um, first, I want to say I wouldn't suggest anybody do this by themselves. Uh, ex extremely dangerous. You're better off to have at least one more if not two more people here with you and the reason why i say that number one obviously it's going to you're going to get it done quicker uh, number two today <laughs> oh i started on the back let's go around the side here so yeah let's go around the back 
I started on the back here today with this post here. Um, no issues putting it in. But when I moved over to that post, that corner, I started lifting it. It started lifting the entire back of the cabin. And that was coming up off of the big concrete paver there. Once that happened, the whole back side of this cabin wanted to slide off my jack that way. It started to move and I had to let it down in a hurry to keep it from moving. So I ended up pulling my truck in here and then I, I tied straps to that post at the top to the tow hook on my truck, put quite a bit of tension on it. And then uh, I was able to lift this up. Of course it lifted that up as well, but the cabin didn't want to like slide off my jack. It's just extremely dangerous. Uh, I wouldn't suggest anybody do this on their own. Um, pretty foolish on my part, but I really didn't have anybody else up here at the time or that could come up here right now. And I need to get this done before it starts raining and snowing up here. If it's ever going to rain up here. So, um, got another one down in there. And then same thing on the front. Uh, let's see. I did this post first on the front. Once I started lifting that side, it started lifting this side as well. And it started to drift that way. So again, I pulled my truck in over here, put a strap on this with a bunch of tension and I was able to do it. But I'm telling you guys, it was really kind of, kind of hanky, kind of hairy. Like I wouldn't, I don't think I'd do it again by myself. Just it's just too dangerous. Too many things could have gone wrong. Um, it was very unstable with just the four corners done. I mean, just, it wasn't good. So, yeah, um, nah, I'm not going to do this again by myself. Now that I've got it up off the ground, I've got enough supports under it, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, if I get a hold of this thing on the corner and really start wrenching on it, I can get this thing to start shaking a little bit. But I think it's good for now. I'm not going to finish it right now. There's only going to be three in the front and three across the back. I changed my plan for the sides and underneath. So originally I was going to do one, two, three, four. I changed my mind because I forgot that when I built the subframe for this, the floor splits right there where that post is. And I have double, uh, what do you call it? Uh, double two by fours that go up the wall here and all the way up to the, to the loft. So I really wanted to get a support beam uh, a post underneath that section of the wall and the floor because that's kind of where it comes together um, so now what I'm going to end up doing is just for uh, more stability I'm going to end up doing five along each of those uh, skids underneath so one two three four and five um, I'm going to do that on both, on all three skids. So I think it'll be pretty darn sturdy at that point. <clears throat> um, I don't think I'll have to worry about it too much. And if I have to, if I still am not comfortable with it, the stability of it, um, after I put the rest of the uh, piers in, then I might run some cross bracing on all of these these posts from here up like that I don't know we'll see haven't decided if I want to do that yet but you can clearly see beneath the cabin now there's plenty of room under there I can crawl under there no problem 
um, that dirt hasn't seen daylight in five years. <laughs> so, anyways, I got a lot more posts to do along the center. And that back center post, it's a little screwy. Uh, and I'm going to have to end up adjusting it later. So, you can see it's not very square on the pad there. And the reason why is when I built the, the subframe five years ago, these 4x4 four four posts, these pressure tree 4x4s four that I brought up here, they were very uh, wet, very green. Um, and I built the subfloor, and once I built it, I'm going to try to get you under here so you can see. I don't know if you can see it. That thing is twisted all the, all the heck, really. Um, that happened after I built the subfloor, but I didn't uh, have any walls up yet. It, it, in a matter of a day or two, it had twisted completely, and uh, it, it was kind of a pain. So, because of how it's twisted, um, I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to wait for the cabin to kind of settle a little bit and get a couple of rains and some snow and some, some freezing and thawing. And this cabin will settle it down a little bit into the, into the ground. And when it does, uh, it's going to put a little more pressure on this and flatten it out a little bit. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to end up taking this piece out here and then put a jack right under here and just jack it up and twist it back if I can and then put a nice solid post in there. But for now, I'm just going to let it kind of drift the way it is. This thing really has no weight on it much at all. I mean, I could probably move it. Yeah, I'm moving it right there with my hand. So um, I'm just going to give this thing a little bit of time to settle in before I, I fix this because of this whole thing right, right here. So um, I'm done for now. I, I it's Again, it's only 3 o'clock. I could work on this for another couple hours, but I'm not going to. I'm feeling pretty beat up right now, and uh, I uh, accidentally drilled into the top of my thumb like an idiot, and blood was going everywhere, and now it hurts like a son of a you-know-what. So I'm done messing with this for now. I'm going to clean up, pack up, and get the heck out of northern Arizona. But... Uh, I'm pretty happy with the with the results for, for for right now, with how it turned out. I was I wasn't sure I was going to do this. How I was going to do it by myself for sure, and uh, I didn't think it was going to get as shaky as it did this morning when I started moving this thing around. So hopefully we don't get any uh, 60, 70 mile per hour winds up here, because it could very very likely topple this thing over and uh, that'd be a big problem for me so um, I think it's pretty solid though for now it's I mean I'm really pushing on this puppy and it's it's not really moving so I think it's gonna be all right so it is level pretty pretty darn level um, this corner right here is just a just a hair low. I could have brought it up another, I don't know, quarter of an inch. But uh, just from messing around with it, the door, it closes easier. It's not great, but it closes easier. So I can pull it shut with one hand, no problem. It still rubs a little bit right down here. It's a little tough right here. So if I brought that up any higher, I probably wouldn't be able to close the door. But if I jack that corner up a little bit, it closes like it's a, a like I installed it correctly. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna wait again for this thing to settle down a little bit, and uh, I'll make some minor adjustments to some of the posts to get this thing perfectly level. And then uh, probably rehang this door. I might actually just replace it. It's uh, it's not done done so well in the weather here, as you can see. It's it's split in a couple of different places. 
and uh, it's starting to dry rot down here at the bottom where the snow was sitting for so long. So I'll probably just end up replacing it here in the future. And then uh, obviously now, now that I've listed, lifted this thing so high, it's a pain to get inside of it. So I'm gonna have to build a porch on this thing and cover it with a nice metal, green metal roof. And then my door won't end up looking like that anymore. So just a, it's just a process, you know, one, one thing at a time. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It makes this building look a lot larger with it up off the ground 18 inches. It's just a, I don't know, I know it's just a, a visual thing, but it just looks a lot bigger. Uh, so, yeah, I think it was a good couple of days. The weather's been decent, not terrible. And uh, I didn't get crushed underneath this thing, which is really a good thing. So it looks like you're going to end up seeing these videos. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to pack up. I gotta unload some more of the stuff that I didn't end up using while I was here. Just a couple of these. Unload these, pack everything up. Well, I'm not even gonna clean this up right now. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because I'm gonna be back up here again to finish this. And uh, I'm gonna end up using some of that. So, yeah, it's a good good trip. Good, good couple of days. I wish I could stay longer, of course. I always say that. But, uh, you know, uh, 10 more years, I'll be up here permanently. <laughs> uh, i going to retire in probably about 10 years, and uh, I won't have to worry about these things anymore. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this trip. You guys take care. Be safe. Uh, try to stay away from uh, people who look like they're sick if you can and uh just be smart you guys have a great uh great week great month rest of the month and i'll see you guys in the next video you guys take care